Well, we're almost done this unit. I want to look at two types of special polynomials. Type 1, difference of squares. The next type, well, I'll watch another podcast, okay? So I want to concentrate on the difference of squares and what it actually means to have a difference of the squares. Look at this. What does the word difference actually mean? Well, difference means subtraction. What does the word squares mean? Square means that this is a square, that's a square. So in you can square root the A and the B. What do I mean? Look, watch. Look at this guy right here. There's your difference. Ask yourself a question. Can you square root X squared? Yes. Can you square root 49? Yes. If you were to PSA this, I want to show you something really, really cool. Because this would be minus 49, but what would the middle term be? The middle term would be 0. Because there is no X. There's a 0x term. This is like writing this as x squared plus 0x minus 49. And if you look at this, the two numbers that multiply to give you minus 49 are 7 and minus 7. Because 7 plus minus 7 give you that 0, which cancels out this term. So your answer is 7 and minus 7. So you would write this as x minus 7 and x plus 7. But I got a question. Can you not go from here to here in one easy step? As a matter of fact, yes, you can. Let me show you how you go from one to the next in one easy step. Look, that's square rootable, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, x squared square rooted is just x. 49 square rooted is just 7 and 7. And because it's a difference of squares, you make one a minus, one a positive, and you're done. That's how easy this is. Isn't that cool? So look at the next question. Could you imagine PSA 2-ing this? Oh, that'd be astronomically huge. That would be gross. So what you have to recognize is that this is square rootable. That is square rootable, and that is difference. So now we have a difference of squares. So all you got to do is take the square root of the first number, which is 9x, put it here and here, take the square root of the second number, which is 5 and 5, make 1 a plus, 1 a minus. Does it matter which one? No. As long as 1 is plus, 1 is minus. But guess what? There's your answer. And if you don't believe me, check this out. 9x times 9x, 81x squared. 9x times minus 5, is minus 45x. Look at how this turns out to be a term that is the same but opposite side, opposite angles. That cancels with that, leaving you with your minus 25. And check this out, baby. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that. Just proves that this method of doing difference of squares works incredibly easily. So let's keep on going. Let's do a few more. Look at these ones. Can you look at them and say that they are a difference of squares? Well, right now, no. 162 is not square rootable. But look at this. You may have to factor out a GCF first. Look how many times GCF has come up in this unit. It's incredibly powerful. Don't forget about it. So if you take a 2 out of these two, look what happens. Take the 2 out. This 162 becomes 81a squared. This becomes minus b squared. And check it out. Now, this one is square rootable, and that one is square rootable. It's a difference, and lo and behold, difference of squares. So leave the 2 here. Put two sets of brackets down. Square root of this, 9a. Square root of this is b. One's a plus, one's a minus. You're done. That's easy. Take a look at this next question right over here. Same kind of idea. You can't square root a 9. But you can take out a 3. If you take out a 3, this becomes 9x squared. This becomes 192 divided by 3. 64. This guy becomes 64. So guess what? Square rootable, square rootable, that's a difference. So three stills stays up front. 
Nine x squared square rooted is just three x. Sixty four is just eight and eight. One's a plus, one's a minus. You're done. That's how easy and how wonderful differences squares can be if you see the pattern.